Hello there and welcome back to another episode of what has turned into the Celta Vigo save. We're going to run the intro in a second, but look at that. A-plus manager performance. To summarise the board, Phil, you were doing an unbelievable job. And you are clearly the right manager for the job. How long will that last? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Let's run the intro. Okay, then time to look back over a few results. Obviously, last time you were there, it was the 4-1 win at home against Real Betis, a hat-trick from Nicolas Pepe in that game. We then went away at Malaga with a 3-1 win. 2-1-0 wins back-to-back, -back, Almeria and Athletic Bilbao. Before two draws, Hitafe 0-0. And Granada 2-2. We beat Alaves 3-0 at home. We'll have a look at the goals from that one. We made a change in this one as Jaden Braff played as a Ram Deuter. Nicolas Pepe got us underway with a good finish. And you can see Braff's goal coming up in a minute. Pepe's ball through. Braff, lovely finish. I think he'll do well getting onto those chances. Pepe picking up a knock in this one, but Santi Mina finished it 3 0 to Celta Vigo. Following on from that was our first defeat of the season away at Levante. And when looking at the league table, it kind of understands why Levante is sitting in third place at the minute. Obviously, they've played two more games than us, but they've been doing pretty well. So we can't be too disappointed at that. At some point, we were always going to lose. So it's understandable that's where it's come. So we are joining a game later than what we were expecting to, simply because the Real Madrid game has been moved into January. And what it means is we've got two games today, away at Espanyol and then at home against Sevilla. You're probably looking at this and wondering what's going on. Don't forget FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar is being played. I think it starts at the end of November and runs to the end of December. So that is why. And then we go into January. First, the Jan is the first game back away at Real Sociedad. We're going to play two games today and we'll start with Espanyol. So let's have a look at the team. So, one big change just for this game Ivan Villar comes in in goal and he's absolutely horrendous. So, I'm guessing this isn't going to go well. Ruben Blanco out with a knock, out for five days, between five days and two weeks. We've got Nesta Araujo. Still injured with a hip injury, three to five weeks for him, which means Joseph Idu will play at centre back. Other than that, it's the usual team, so let's get into it. A couple of things that we've changed in terms of the formation we've made Jaden Braff a Ram Deuter on the left wing. Nicolas Pepe is now playing as an inverted winger on the right, and we've changed Santi Mina up to a poacher, which seems to have worked in the last couple of games. Since we, So we've changed it to a poacher three games ago and he scored against Alaves and against Levante. So hopefully he'll start scoring some goals. Let's get into the match. Espanyol versus Celta Vigo. First chance is going to fall to Vigo. Pepe's corner. No, it's not. It's going to be an Espanyol chance, isn't it? Of course it is. Here's Munir down the left-hand side. Lovely break away. Terrible finish. Here's Sione. Plays it through to Nino. Great chance to score. Villar makes a save. Oh, we're just letting them have far too much of the ball at the minute. Pedroza down the left. Look at the space he's got. Pedroza. Dada's ball through. Munia hits the post. In all honesty, I'd probably take a draw away at Espanyol, but they've been really poor this season. Pepe's crossing, and it's gone in. It's going to go down as an own goal for David Lopez. And Espanyol go behind to Celta Vigo. Good corner from Pepe. Terrible defending. Munier. Vinagra wins it. Pedroza. Beltran. Put, the, put your foot on the ball. Don't know who this is. RDT. Good save from Villar. Villar to take it. Vinagra doesn't even look interested. Munir's ball. And Raul de Thomas levels it up for Espanyol. It's been coming, hasn't it? Oh, here we 
go. Sione. Nino. No. It's always a defensive mistake, isn't it? Paul Villar, he's done brilliantly today as well, after I was criticising him. We go inside him. Darda. That's the third. And uh, Baron next to it. Gives Espanyol a third goal. It's probably a game that we should be getting some sort of a result out of, and we haven't. Right, so back to back defeats there. 3 1 away at Espanyol and 3 2 away at Levante. Next up is Sevilla, who are second in the La Liga table. They've had a great start to the season, so it's going to be a tough one. Can we get a result? That game coming in five days' time. Okay, so we're going to make a change for this game. We're going to bring in Omer Beaz as the attacking midfielder instead of Rainier. See how that works out. Other than that, it's the same team. Ruben Blanco still not fit enough to start. Let's go into this one. Let's see if we can we can end this losing run. I'd take a draw, to be honest. Severe have been pretty good this season. You go Mayo. Gives it to Omer and gets it back. Finds the core. I do. Beltran, I do again. Rekic. You just know we're going to lose the ball. As soon as that starts knocking it about at the back, Rekic comes in and just blasts it forward to nobody. Here's Pepe. Ake with a big tackle. Pepe again. Pepe, where's he going? Vinagre. Can we get a cross in? Decore. It's a good ball. Fran Beltran with the volley. And Celta Vigo leads Sevilla. Great volley from Fran Beltran. Let's see it again. Good work from Vinagre. Decore does really well to get a cross in from this position. Headed down by Pepe, and Beltran says thank you very much. Is Suso. Kunde. Suso again. Gomez. And Alejandro Gomez with the level up. We didn't have the lead for long, only two minutes, and Sevilla are back in it. Mariano. Ocampos. Mayo doesn't win it. Ocampos with the effort. Well, we knew he was going to make mistakes, and Villar, he's, he's not covered himself in glory with that one. Have another look at it. Mariano, Ocampos. I mean, it's a bad tackle from Mayo. And Villar, you've got to do better than that. Trying to stay on balance for longer hasn't really worked. Vinagre, bad ball. Mariano, Jordan, Ayer. Sevilla just holding on to the ball quite easily. Suso into Mariano. Jordan. Oh, Mayo. It's not a good interception. And Mariano makes it 3-1. And realistically, we're just not good enough, if we're being honest. Let's bring on Aspas and Rainier. See if they can make any difference. <sighs> yeah. Oh dear. 4-1 Sevilla. Aspas. Good finish. First goal of the season. Iago Aspas. And I think he's going to get a run out now. Because I am sick to death of Santi Mina. Not great. Leaves us in seventh place. We're not we're not doing too badly. Me and Alaves and, and Batiste could probably go above us anyway. But we're not doing too badly. But it, it doesn't look good. We need to beat Osasuna in the last game before the break. That's massive. In terms of when we're going to come back, Villarreal and Valencia look very enticing. We've got a horrendously tough run there. Villarreal, Valencia, Atletico, Barcelona and Betis. Five tough games at Real Madrid before that as well. So we will return at the end of January. We'll talk about any deals that we've done, if we've done any. Villarreal at home and then Valencia away. And it's dropped to B+. Plus. Oh dear. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode. It's been another testing one for Celta Vigo. But we have done well. We need to get back to it. Don't do what we did at Betis where we went on a run of not winning a game in about 300. If you have enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And until next time, I am Skola87. We'll see you soon.